So UK has got whipped. Yeah. So my main goal really was I wanted to win the Englands. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Because you know everybody enters competitions to win them. You don't enter them to you know come. Not there to make the numbers up, mate. That's yeah, for sure. You come there to win. Um, I had a bad day. I didn't perform particularly well at yeah. all. I didn't perform to to what I should have done. Lloyd Reynolds won. Yeah. Worthy victory. I mean, the lad can fly with the yeah. yoke. He was he was really fast with the yoke. He's out right here, Lloyd. Um, so. So yeah, I was I was very disappointed in my own performance, but I'm certainly not taking anything away from anybody who competed. Yeah. Because they were better than me on the day, and that's and and, and that's the end of it. Yeah. Um, so I came fourth there, disappointed that's, with that. Really. It's a strong field up there, though. So you you know. Yeah, it was it it was a strong field, but it wasn't like massively strong. You hadn't got Jimmy Marcus and you hadn't got Rob Frampton because obviously they've stepped up to the next level now Absolutely, and they're yeah. doing world strongman so they're not really yeah, doing they that. They have a commitment. But, fair, um, so. yeah. but like I say, he was strong. The people who beat me, beat me on the day. Yeah. And, you know, they beat me fair. It's nice of you to say so. You know, it's another trait of strong yeah, man. Everyone's so. pretty humble yeah. and in fairness, you know. So England's didn't go your way. You done anything no. else after that? Um, I did. I thought I, d I did St Ives because I came second in that in 2010. Yeah. Uh, came second in that, so I thought I'd end the year. It's a really nice run comp. It's in a. I've heard a lot of good yeah, reports about this in, competition. Um, it's in a Christian community centre. Yeah. Um, and it's just a nice family vibe and yeah. a really nice atmosphere. Um, the events, the events suited me. Um, and I just thought, you know, I'll have a go, I'll see, I'll see if I can win this. Um, yeah. And I won that one. Absolutely. So, so I ended the year on a, I ended the year on a good note, which is what I wanted and to who do. Who did you beat, mate? I oh, beat Graham. Graham? Yeah. Graham Plimley? Plimley, yes, Graham yeah. Plimley. yeah. It's, I think it's a... You're rubbish, I Graham. I think it's the second, <laughs> second or third time. I'm sure you'll dispute that, but... Second yeah. time you beat him, I think second, he said, yeah. Oh, he was very, he was very <laughs> upset about it. So there was cheating and all sorts down on your part, he's just said in an interview, I've just had him in, he never had a good word to say about it, to be honest with you, but I don't know if there's anything you want to say to him. <laughs> no, he's better luck next time. Yeah, he's bigger than me. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip it out much. So, no, I mean, well done, mate. So you ended, you've ended this year on a win? Yes, yeah. So, spring ball for 2012 now. Yeah. One I watch in 2012, that's what this is all about. I mean... Aims and ambitions, mate. Where do you where do you want to go with it for twenty? Obviously, you see twenty twelve as a, as, a, yeah. as a big year. What, you know, where, what, what do you fancy doing? Are you gonna pick and choose your events? I'm gonna, you I'm gonna pick and choose the. I, I want to do competitions that lead on to things. Yeah. Now, I'd like to do a warm up in the beginning of the year. Yeah. I was gonna do Celtic Carnage, but due to other family commitments, I can't. But that okay. would have been a nice warm up to the year. Um, I need to put. I want to put some weight on. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've plateaued at about 18 and a half stone now, okay. and I do think it's starting to hold me back on, so on you need some to events. Get the protein in you. Yeah, yeah, another another stone or two would be nice. Yeah. Um, so put some weight on, get on my weaknesses, yeah. which is my grip. Ev everybody who's competed against me, anybody who knows I me, mean, my grip is that of an eight year old boy. It's absolutely really? terrible. Yeah, it's not good at all. It's not good. But it is getting better. And it yeah, is at least you know how to work on it. Oh, yeah, because as far as I'm concerned, you're only as strong as your weakest your weakest link. Of and course. my weakest link is my grip. Yeah. And in some competitions, that, that, that the grip, the farmers events and the grip events have cost me dearly. They've cost me first places, they've cost me second places, yeah. they've, they've cost me podiums. So it, it's got to be worked on. Yeah. Um, so I'm thrashing that out and just getting up all the compound lifts, getting them bigger and yeah. heavier squats and deads. Then, you know, do the UKs again. Again, it's going to be a really, really strong field this year in the Midlands yeah, qualifying. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, but fortunately, Ed Hall's taken out of it because he's already won. So, <laughs> so that's, one, that's one person less. Off, off camera, you said you could beat him anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably at Tiddlywinks, but... Um, <laughs> So yeah, so do the UKs, um, do the Englands, yeah. then um, do England's most powerful man as well, I put myself down for that. Brilliant, be good so that'll be, down there, yeah, yeah, it'll be a nice, that. it'll be a nice um, weekend away hopefully with the kids, bring the kids down and we'll have bring a all the family down, weekend away. Yeah. yeah, it's nice down there. Um, and, and that's really it so far, I, uh, I believe Bob's doing um, qualifiers for the Arnold's amateurs. Yeah, you um, fancy a crack at that, didn't you? Yeah, because it's just... It's just one of those dream things, going to America, meeting Arnold, meeting yeah. all the American big guys, doing, yeah. do, doing that thing, and just being like a kid for a day, running around getting autographs and seeing people you've seen on TV. And It'd be lovely, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's so a lovely setting as well yeah. for Arnold. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, that's, it's showbiz, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be really, really nice. 
really nice to do that. Um, so that's then, your ambition, is it? Get yeah, to the Arnold's yeah, 2012. Yeah. And then ultimately, in the world's strongest Ultimately, I, personally, I believe I'm a little bit too old to get to the world's. Because there's some, there's some like, like I mentioned before, Ed Hall, Jack Mack, um, all of those types of lads, they've got, they've got age. Don't, I, you, don't I you look at someone like Mark Phoenix, I, I mean, well, he's see, coming to the sport, you know, I mean, he's been around for a long time, mm -hmm. but he, you know, he's, he's still there now, isn't he? And he's, yeah, he's true. He's mid forties, isn't he? Mm, it depends how your body reacts to it, I suppose. Do you suffer body, a lot of injuries? Touch wood. I've not, I've not had, I've not had yeah, any, yeah. any injuries at all, because I do tend to train. Again, it's something else I get grief for. I, I tend to train clever. Yeah. I'm not maxing out all the time. Yeah. I will periodise my training and I will take it to to a certain limit. But I'll try and save my big lifts and all of that for the for on the day because it's 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 very good and it's good it for your ego yeah. and it's good for the camera and everything. And if you're a bit of a YouTube warrior and everything else, it's good. To, to, to look at yourself pumping out 360k yeah. deadlift but then you go on to comp day and you don't because you're absolutely knackered because you're knackered, not yeah. working or you've torn a bar step off or so you're a bit of a thinking man then you try and think it out a little bit i'd know? like to try because it is there, there is a lot of science there's a nutrition side there's a training side it's not just all brute force anyway of course it's not no um so it's so you do have to think you do have to think about it so i'd like to think that that's that's something that i've got on my side but a world's no, UKs, I'd love to do the UKs. Go I'd love the to UKs. win that, yeah. I'd love to win that UKs. And I think if if I won it early enough and if I won it at the at the right age, then yeah, perhaps perhaps yeah. the worlds. But I'm not gonna sit here and say, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the worlds and I'm gonna I'm gonna win it because I'm I'm a realist at the same time. Everybody's got dreams and ambitions cool, but they've got to be tapered with reality yeah. as well. So. Listen mate, I hope you uh, I hope you get you know and you, you, you you get to the, you know, you get to the UK, and yeah. I, I know, you know, all your ambitions, they, they come, they yeah, come true in 2012, mate, yeah. I really do, cheers. you know, so Luke Fulbrook, yeah. one to watch in 2012, cheers, thank, thank you, you very much for having me, mate. Yeah, cheers for coming up. Thanks, mate, thank, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.